Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out a brow product which is why my brows look non-existent right now um, but hopefully we'll fix that soon. We are going to be testing out the Salon Perfect On Point Tri-Tip Brow Marker. I've seen this around for like a month or two now and it really really piqued my interest because of the whole microblading trend that's happening right now. I dare not do it because I just can't. I can't. I, I could never even get a tattoo. Like, I'm just so afraid of needles and anything sharp coming at me, especially at my face. Like, I probably could not do it. And I just saw Alyssa Ashley's video in which she got, like, this crazy allergic reaction from microblading. And I'm like, okay, convince me. I'm never doing anything like that. And so instead of doing something more permanent or semi-permanent, such as the actual microblading, I decided that I tried this. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Now I purchased this through Walmart. Um, they only have two shades, Universal Taupe and Dark Brown, which is the one that I have right here. I was planning on purchasing both and seeing which one worked best, but Universal Taupe was out of stock. And so I, I was stuck with Dark Brown. Hopefully it doesn't look too dark on my brows. We'll see though. It retails for about five US dollars. I've seen it retail for a little bit more, or a little bit less, just depending on who you go through. The website describes it as a brow marker that features a three prong applicator that mimics natural brow hairs for flawless, natural looking results. It is perfect for filling in sparse areas or sculpting a full arch. This budge proof formula applies effortlessly, dries quickly, and creates the sought after micro bladed brow effect. We shall see what this looks like once applied on the brow. As far as how to use this, you're supposed to first brush your brow hairs upwards with a spoolie. Then you go in with the actual brow marker and lightly apply short strokes following the natural shape of your brow. Lastly, you go back with your spoolie in order to blend everything out. All right, so now I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and exactly what this looks like on the brows. Okay, so now that I have you all up close and personal, we're going to start off with the spoolie. And just brush upward okay just like that okay so now it's time for application here I'm kind of nervous okay so let's do this okay I like that Let's follow the direction of my brow hairs here. Okay, so I'm no expert, which is why this is looking awful in my opinion. And this is quite deep too, so let's see. So now I'm just going in with one side, so I'm not applying it this way. I am like tilting it to where it's um, to where I can just get the side of a tip. I'm going to do that. So it absolutely looks a lot fuller and it does give you little hair like strokes but you have to be very careful to be very light handed with it because the dark brown is as you can see fairly dark um, and so if you just get very heavy handed like I did in some spots it doesn't look very flattering. So now I'm gonna blend it out here and see see what we get because right now it's just looking a little bit too deep here. So it blends out really nicely and the one thing that I really am loving is what it did right here. The front portion of my brow is always the one that gives me the most trouble. I always try not to let it look too incredibly boxed in right here at the front um, and this makes it look a lot more natural. So I love what it's doing at the front there. It's blending out really nicely and it's giving me more of a natural looking brow. You can still see my sparseness through here, however it did deepen my brow. I mean if you can compare it to this one, it deepened it quite a bit and it shaped it also and it doesn't look um, 
it doesn't look too incredibly filled in with a marker. It doesn't say whether or not you can like do it again and then blend it out and like continue to do it over and over until you achieve your desired results. Um, but I'm just going to guess that you can. So I'm going to go back with a marker and just apply more like light strokes, especially here along the bottom where I feel like I have a lot of sparse areas. I'm just following my brow. Okay, so it's starting to look a lot better. I think going in a second time really helped. Um, so now let's blend it out a little bit more. All right, so I actually really like the way that this looks. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I didn't think that I would like a marker on the brows. I'm more of a pomade or a brow pencil kind of girl, um, but this, this looks really good. I like the fact that the front here looks very, very just like light and more natural. And I love the fact that it looks like I just have a little bit more hair. I'm actually really, really blown away by this marker. One thing that I forgot is that it does claim to be budge proof. So I'm going to try... So there you have it. These are both brows done. I really like the way that they turned out. Um, I find that this is a really good tool to save you time, or at least it did, especially on this one. I went in doing it the same way that I did this one, but then I just kind of blended it out and filled in a little bit further with a pencil. And that way you still get like the hair-like strokes and you don't have to fill in as much. It still looks really, really nice. It looks more natural than when I usually do them with just a pencil. I'm so glad that I was able to find this because yeah, like I said, it's gonna save me some time. So thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. I am All Beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and All Beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.